Whoa, whoa. That was not right oh, right there. Oh, my God. Oh, you take Gwen, a shot over here? Gwen. Oh. Is there, and is there any oh. way to shoot? Yeah, no, my wife is coming at you. Ed, turn around, Ed. Oh, man. man. Ed, turn around, Ed. That is no, not man. right. Oh. Chuckster. Wow. I, it, wow. My, I, I just wow. know that my wife is diametrically the opposite. Wow. Of that, so I'm not even without. Worried. Well, we saw, <laughs> folks saw her on the we air last know. week we when we know. when we did the. Uh, <laughs> wow. We I know. love Gwen. Yeah. I'm just I care because I care. I'll tell you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we gonna go there. If you expect that, man. <laughs> oh no, we going I don't want to uh, do it on air and get fined. The nominees for most wow. improved player are. Are we just gonna do? One of our leading candidates for most improved player. Oh, my He has clearly taken another step. Capella is competing his team the way he goes, this team goes. Where's Capella? He erases it. Up high, down hard. Capella. He is one of the most improved players. And Tim Dinwiddie, candidate for most improved. Dinwiddie puts it down. Oh, this guy's growing up right before our eyes. Then would he play well? Yeah, he so. did, Kenny. Did. That's a shame that he, 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 he's a, he had a hell of a year, but we didn't even mention Brooklyn all year. Yeah, well, there's a reason. Oh, yeah, that's a reason. Improved his scoring by more than five points over last year and was number 11 in the league in assists. Um, Victor Oladipo got my vote. No, oh, I you probably was good, probably good was vote. not alone in that. Uh, that's a good that vote. vote. He deserves it. I forgot he about deserves. Capella was that close because he had a fantastic year. But he gone. This is a runaway most improved player. Shout out to Victor, my singing brother. Yeah, he, was, nice. he bought me. He bought me down. He's the Miller Vanilli of singing with me. Career highs in scoring, rebounds, and assists. In fact, he that's a travel. Oh. He increased his scoring by seven points a game and led the league in steals. Yeah, he went back home and really showed out this season. I'm, yeah. I'm Cheating off your paper, Ernie. I'm gonna go with Victor also. Now, Victor was yeah, that's incredible. That's, that's really some great good. jumps right there, man. Yeah, going to real good. going from 15 to 23. You know, Kenny, that's a big jump. That's a hell of a jump. Uh, you know, it's funny because I got a chance to talk to him prior to the trade. Um, the year he was in Oklahoma a lot, and I, I would say, Are you gonna be ready for the responsibility of being the guy? Is it different from being one of the guys? And Shaq and, and Charles would know the burden to carry every night, Ooh. the expectation of everybody saying, well, I need 23 from you, and yeah. now you, we can just move on. That's a big responsibility I, that he took on. Kenny, I, 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 Kenny you're 100% right. One of my great coaches I played for, for Paul Silas, he said to me when I said, Coach, what kind of team we going to have? He says, we're going to suck. I said, Coach, we got a, <laughs> he says, I said, Coach, we got a good team. He says, no, we don't have no good team. He says, you guys don't he said, I know you're gonna get me 25 a night. That guy might get me 20, but he might get me six. <laughs> and so he go, he went around telling him, he said, I don't think you guys understand the responsibility. He said, when I played for Red Arback, he said, I'm counting on you to get me 10 a night. You can't get me 10 and, and then six and tell me you averaging eight. No, that doesn't work like that. But the responsibility, what Kenny said, which is a great point. When you are a star or a superstar, you know, going out there every night to get 25 to 30 points and all defenses are stacked against you, there's a huge responsibility. I can, like, I can just see Paul Silas doing this. Guys, we suck. Everybody in here. No, it, no, it was a private <laughs> conversation. Okay. Yeah, but I could tell by his demeanor that he, that, you know, wanted to accept that responsibility. Yeah. You know, we all, you know, we all been on the part. We wanted to have the ability to be the man. You know, the first couple of situations, he was the other, but, you know, uh, Nate did a great job saying, now you're the man. And, you know, he just stepped up and accepted it and played well. And I think that's yeah, what Nate did a great job this year. It won't be shown and nobody talk about it, but Nate McMillan did a fantastic job. Sixth man of the year, the last six sixth men of the year, James Harden, who could be this year's MVP. And if he is, then he would join Bill Walton as the only guys to win sixth man and MVP. J.R. Smith, Jamal Crawford, Lou Williams, Jamal Crawford again. And last year, it was Eric Gordon. Here are this year's finalists. Eric Gordon is so important for reigning six men of the year. Splash on three. No one's been out of the airport. I saw the hero. This is what I'm trying Williams has been spectacular as the six man. He is a professional four. Lou Williams. Oh, and that goes last night. Six man of the year, got to be, got to be unanimous. Fred Van Vliet has just been fantastic. This kid is unafraid. Ray Splash! And Nickerson off the bench, man of the year. Six man of the year. Ah, oh, man.
I, I don't know if that's fair to put Lou Williams as a six man. Why? Because he played more minutes as a starter this no, year. He, played, he made 19 starts, played 79 games, made 19 starts. Eric Gordon uh, also started some games. He he played uh, when when Lou 69 games and started 30. Gordon started more than more than Williams did. And the criteria is you have to come off the bench more than you start. Fred Van Vliet, by the by the way, all 76 of his games were. He off was the fantastic bench. all year for the Raptors. But Lou Williams yeah, with 20, I, 23 points a game. and But see, and, I, I look at this different because Lou Williams became their number one option as soon as he came in the game. Uh, Eric Gordon, he's their role player coming off the bench. That's because he's playing for the Clippers, Chuck. I know that, though, but I, no, no, no. Uh, you, you're going to hold it against him because he uh, became yeah, the number one option? Uh, you know, I'm not holding against him. I'm just saying I, I look. He's the, he's the guy. Uh, a guy coming off the bench who is just contributing to his team and supposed to carry that second unit. That's yeah. Eric Gordon, in my opinion, but I, you know I love Lou Williams. Kenny, look at these highlights. Somebody else touching the ball. Wow, the ball yeah. movement. Yeah. Wow. I think that at times they played like that, Sha uh, Shaq. That's why I think they can do it. Can I ask you a question, Kenny? Yeah. Does it seem to you like we watched the Rockets play all year, and I've been on the Rockets bandwagon all year. They're does slower. It, does it seem like they have gotten slower in the playoffs? They've reverted back to me to what they were before. I, I think last year, James Harden separated himself because we first said he's going to move to the point. And he was such a distributor being doing that. And I think now he's reverted back to, and they have reverted back, yeah, not just I him, agree. but they reverted back to, okay, James, you do everything. Right. And and in this series, that just wasn't not going to work. And just go the, do what, it's not like we're saying to change things, but just do what you are capable of doing. And you're, you have the personnel to actually do it. So, it you know, to add on what you're saying, Ken, when we say the broad statement, you need to change, everybody, oh, no, no. We're not saying change. We're saying in order to win championship basketball, everybody has to be involved. That Clay Thompson sat up here and said, listen, we moved the ball, everybody touched the ball. Hey, it's beautiful. Jack, I got a perfect Boy, example. Kenny's also saying, though, you have to do something that makes you uncomfortable. Yes. That's that's what you said. Yes. yes. It doesn't but, seem like, but, okay, but, let's 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 pass the ball more. It's going to make anybody uncomfortable. Oh, it, but, yo, yeah, yeah, your, yeah, yeah. And, and get right. other guys involved. Quicker. Get right. other, yeah, getting other guys, guys involved is something different. Let me make one yes, point here. So me and Kenny, when we first started working together, he says, we could never beat the Supersonics. They beat them like 18 straight times. And we, when I played in Phoenix, we owned them. He said, what did y'all do different than we did? I said, I took the double team. Akeem fought the double team. So I just used myself as a decoy. I was just getting ready to say I that. I took the double team. Because George Carl, so they, they had a great strategy. They always played small, but they always double. But they always double. So I said, hey, coach, I'm going to take the double team every time. It's going to open up the other floor. But I can kill the little guy on the offensive rebound. Hakeem, as great as he was, he tried to fight the double team. Did that make you uncomfortable? It made, like, I, it made, it make your team different. It made my team totally different. And we oh, were sorry. able to score. So, Ernie, it was a subtle adjustment. Listen, I could try to score on two guys, but it's not going to help the team. So, Ernie, what I used to do was the first three plays, give me the damn ball, go, 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 go. Get the, you know, the defense to pan, they start doubling. Now I start looking for the other guys. And then second quarter, just keep repeating something. Because I learned early, look, I'm a great player, but I can't do this by myself. Yeah, I, I just I don't know I, that you know there's anyone, and, and we're not even talking basketball, we're talking business like, say there's someone that you're going to have to fire, someone you're going to have to hire, someone you have to be around to make yourself a championship contender in anything. And this is the moment right here. This is the best team assembled in the modern era. And to beat them, you're going to have to do a little different. And that's okay. You can do a lot of the stuff you can do, but you're going to have to do something different to beat the Golden State Warriors so, or they will be the back-to-back -back champions. So you're not buying Mike D'Antoni saying, look, we need to do what we do, but we need to do it better. I don't that's, buy that. That's called being stubborn. Right? No, but he, he, might, listen, he might be every, telling us and then really have a change, though. Involved. That's he all might all have saying. a change. We'll see. We'll see. He might be, because I might not tell you you're going to change, so you can be prepared for it either. We are, uh, we are live here in Houston, as a matter of fact, before game two of the Bobby Russell! Uh, Bobby Russell! Yeah, he's got... Uh,
the O'Neill and Barkley jerseys. He's been trying to get your guys' attention. I'm sure he wants you to sign them. Do you think that's going to happen, Chuck? I think that'll happen, man. We always sign autographs. No problem. All right, good. So here, 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 come. here, here, here come the, come. Here, here come the jerseys. And why? No, yours is so little, Charles. I don't think that's your size. The one he's bringing over. Uh, hey, do you think Shaq is still fit in his jersey? I'll take that bet. Uh, yeah, I'll take, take that bet. Listen. That's the Orlando jersey. He ain't got Listen. no damn chance of getting in that Listen, one. Chuck, I got a five pack. What pack you got? You got a <laughs> five hundred pack. I ain't gonna lie, he do got a five pack, no, <laughs> Tell him, He ain't gonna lie. Uh, Work I, I, I'll bet whatever you want, you can't get in that Orlando jersey. We'll talk coach of the year when we come back. <laughs>